And in business, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefile, appeared before the Senate Committee on Finance in Abuja. He was criticized by the lawmakers for failing to appear earlier on, on to meet with lawmakers to defend the CBN's current monetary policy regime. Though he declined to speak on the issues relating to the federal government's stamp duty collections, he said the monetary policy regime will impact positively on the lives of Nigerians. Um, in the area of monetary policy, we are trying as much as possible to ensure that monetary policy decisions are those that would impact positively on the lives of our people. It shouldn't just be enough as saying, like we have always said in the, in, the, in the monetary policy committee meetings, it should not just be about talking about interest rates, exchange rate and all that, but how does our decisions on interest rates, on exchange rates and other things that we we'll discuss at, at, at the monetary policy committee, how does it um, impact, and in this case, and we mean positively, on the lives of our people, particularly Nigeria. And you would have observed um, through our various activities and um, some of our pronouncements um, that we are, we are doing the little that we can, contributing the little that we can uh, in the development of this country. Joint juncture, given the fact that the stamp duties matter and other related matters, particularly the stamp duties matter is a matter that is currently at the High Court, I would like to crave your kind indulgence, sir, yeah. that you permit us to speak off camera. Thank you, sir. I want to thank you for that very beautiful introduction. As we're about to discuss, is still in court, and no pronouncement can be made in this regard until the final judgment of the courts. So at this point, the committee hereby dissolve into executive session. Only the central bank and the management team can stay behind. Thank you.